You know, it's no secret that the number one reason guys out there reach out to people like me for dating advice is because, you know, they're with a girl and she just leaves them high and dry, right? She just walks out, acts like nothing ever happened, and just leaves his ass. So the number one topic that people want to, you know, they want the answer to is, how do you get your ex back when she leaves you? And I've made videos like that in the past, but in tonight's video, I just want to share with you guys why I personally believe you should never take an ex back. Now, I want you to go in depth and really think about this if you're a guy out there that's thinking about your ex-girlfriend who left you, and you're thinking about, you know, maybe getting back with her, you know, trying to, you know, give it a second shot. Well, I want you to think about what the motive was for her to leave you. You know, because that's something that you don't really know. What was the motive for her to walk away from you? And I bet you the answer that you're going to come up with, if you honestly think about it, is she was willing to betray you, you know, betray your trust, betray what you guys had to go be with somebody else. Now, that's just the cold hard truth. That is the number one reason women leave men. You know, they don't leave you to go be lonely and spend time with the girlfriends and be by themselves. They leave you because there's already another man in the picture and they're betraying you to go be with him. And somewhere down the road, you're missing her and you want her back. Well, what kind of a man would you be? How weak of a man would you have to be if you don't even have the, the principles to stand on that say, if you betray me, you can't come back? You know, that should be a basic principle that every man has. You know, she can screw up. She can wreck the car. She can screw up with money. She can, you know, there's a lot of different ways that women can screw up. We don't have to get into that, but betraying you is a whole different animal. And the reason why I think it's important to, to have this conversation is because if you're a guy that's weak enough to take a woman back that's betrayed you, I can already tell you what sort of a life you're going to live, what sort of a dating life you're going to have. You know, I've been, I've been doing this for a long time. I've been helping guys out, and I've kind of seen the paths that certain guys have gone down. And I can confirm that this is probably what's going to happen to you if you take a woman back after she betrays you. Well, it's going to happen again, for one. And... What's going to happen is she's going to leave you for another guy. And you're going to become this needy guy, right? And since you can't have her back, you're going to find a new girl as a rebound girl. And this rebound girl is going to see how weak you are because you're coming at her from a position of weakness because you're still heartbroken about your ex. She's going to dump you. And you're going to go do the same thing over and over again. So you're just going to be a weak-ass you know, I don't really like to use the term simp, but you're going to be a simp that's just constantly chasing female validation. You know, you're going to be trapped in that loop. And unfortunately, a lot of guys do that. And, you know, let's be honest, the suicide rates are fucking sky high with men nowadays. And... You know, we could go down a whole different rabbit hole if we want to talk about that shit. You know, I've seen, uh, I've seen feminist podcasts where they're bringing up the statistics of suicide rates and they're saying, well, look, men commit suicide at, you know, five times the rate as women or, you know, or something of that nature. And the women are celebrating that statistic. They're happy that men are committing suicide at a higher rate than women. You know, I gotta say, man, fuck that shit. I mean, I don't, I don't want anybody committing suicide, male or female, but, you know, that's how fucked up the world's getting. And 
unfortunately a lot of society is teaching women especially feminism is teaching women to be narcissistic to use men as you know just for money and resources you know use them as plow horses basically and uh you know they're also convincing them to go out and fuck whoever they want and do whatever they want you know be sexually liberated so on and so forth and you know that's kind of where we're at so as a man you know it's kind of impossible for you to uh fight back against that system with the way it's currently structured you know you just can't really do much and that's why the the mgtow guys are saying well fuck it we're gonna walk away because it's really the only thing that they can do even the pua guys will tell you the only power a man has is to walk away you know everybody knows that but there is something powerful in that as well and uh it's not necessarily about getting your way with one specific woman or getting your ex back because at the end of the day like i said you shouldn't want her back she betrayed you you know as the as the young fellas say nowadays she's for the streets <laughs> you know so that's just how that uh card should be played you know you didn't choose that path she did so you got to move on and never take her back but what you gain in the process is you gain those principles to stand on so instead of going down that simp path where you're just constantly chasing female validation well now you have at least something to work with you know you say well this is what i want i demand some sort of uh i demand that you don't betray me you don't have to be a hundred percent loyal in every aspect right like you can you know, you can still have friends and family and shit. Like, I don't own you, but you can't flat out betray me, right? So, at least when you have some principles to stand on, you can say, well, as soon as those boundaries are crossed, you understand that, you know, that relationship is doomed and you got to end it as soon as possible. And the second you're able to, you know, drill that in your head and establish that sort of a boundary... But well, you're going to do pretty well because, you know, you're going to move on quickly. And believe it or not, there are a lot of good women out there. There's a lot of women that are uh, really looking for, uh, you know, a good man and a good relationship, something long term. But unfortunately, they're kind of lost in the background. They're the boring girls. And most guys are searching for women on dating apps or nightclubs. And most guys have porn addictions, they're on the OnlyFans and all the, you know, all this stupid shit that's going on nowadays. So, you know, if you can break free from all of that and actually get out there and realize, open your eyes and realize everywhere you go, the grocery store, the mall, the gym, your job, church, literally everywhere you go, you see women there, you see attractive women, and a lot of those women are looking for whatever it is you're looking for. So that's why when you see a woman you're attracted to, you just got to go ahead and talk to her. You know, you don't necessarily have to aggressively shoot your shot, but you need to talk to her and find out what she's about. I know women that uh, know details about me. I know details about them. You know, we felt each other out. And these are potential options, you know, for me to get into relationships with. And you guys can do the same thing. You know, everywhere you go, you have potential options. You just got to talk to people and feel it out. You don't have to do that PUA, you know, dating coach, spitting game all the time shit. But, you know, you do got to talk to women, feel them out, and get to know them a little bit. And, like I said, have those principles to stand on, and you'll do just fine. But, uh, you know, I suppose we covered more topics in this video than just not taking your ex back. But, you know, that's the point that I wanted to make in this video. I feel like I also have to provide a solution I don't feel like the video can just be a negative don't do this I think I also have to provide a what you can do instead you know type of uh, subject just to make it a complete video anyways guys I'm gonna go ahead and shut this one off I was trying to keep it at about eight minutes but it looks like we're over ten so uh, yeah we're gonna end it alright guys hope this video was somewhat informative but I'm gonna bounce now peace out 
to the window, to the wall, until the sweat drops down my balls, until all you bitches crawl. Oh, skeet, skeet, goddamn.